What is up guys, Rurkak is here and this is how to kill the level 35 end boss Skolas with a void burn. Now you've killed him with an arc burn, you've killed him with a solar burn, it's time to kill him with a void burn. Now the strategy for this is essentially the same as the other strategies. You want to put as much damage as possible on him as quickly as possible to kill him in about 30 or 40 seconds so that he dies and all of the other enemies despawn allowing you to defuse the two waves of mines unopposed. To do this you need some powerful void snipe rifles as well as a defender titan with weapons of light and illuminated. Now how the strategy works is that you're going to run out as quickly as possible onto the upper platform that you've probably been holding out from Fallen the entire time. Once you're going up here you need to kill the transparent servitor along the way and the defender titan pops his bubble. You get weapons of light and start wailing on Skolas' head. It's very important that you actually get headshots in order to stun him. If you are not stunning him and making him reel backwards, he will teleport up to your location and then you're just gonna die. Now after wailing on his head with void snipe rifles, once you run out of ammunition you need to quickly go into your inventory and pop a special ammo synth, which you should have a million of considering Chesky farming. Once you pop the synth, you go back to shooting Skolas in the head. Now if Skolas gets his shield back, just get one of your teammates to peel off to the left and snipe the other transparent servitor from across the map from their elevated position. Now you may need to get one of your teammates to peel off to the right and start defusing the first mine, that's what we had to do, but we were still able to take Skolas down. Now the weapons we used to kill Skolas were two 365 Pradius Revenge, now that is the Vault of Glass Void Snipe Rifle, and also one of our teammates just had a random 331 Attack Void Legendary Snipe Rifle. So the actual equipment required isn't that precise, you just do need a powerful Void Snipe Rifle with impact on the higher end, just because you want to be making Skolas flinch as often as possible from getting headshots. Now upon killing Skolas you do have a chance to get an elemental version of one of the Prison of Elders guns and the Elder Cipher bounty. I actually got a solar Prison of Elders pulse rifle so expect a review on that soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you did and as always have a good day.